Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I've had a lot of questions. If you go back and you look at my Grandstream HT801 video, I have had a lot of questions about this device. And one of the biggest questions that people have is, do I need a phone system? Do I have to have a Grandstream phone system to use this HT801 to convert an analog phone? As you can see on the back here, we've got our, our network port, a reset, a power, and then this is where your analog phone plugs in. Boop. Analog phone plugs in there. Do I need a phone system to use a Grandstream ATA or analog telephone adapter? And the answer is no, you do not need a phone system. You can use these with the Grandstream phone systems or any other phone system uh, because this is literally just a SIP endpoint that does the conversion from that analog to SIP. So you can use this with any SIP compliant phone system and convert a fax machine, uh, any type of analog device um, that you need to talk over VoIP. You can just easily convert it with this device. And these are, um, you know, sometimes you can find these down around 30 bucks a piece. Grandstream also, um, I don't know if you know this, but they OEM for places like Amazon. So one thing that I want to take a look at is not just taking my word for it, but uh, I'm going to show you four different uh, SIP providers. And the only one of this group that I currently recommend is Telnex. We use Telnex all the time. They're fantastic. Their pricing really can't be beat. Their support has been fantastic. But if you go to these SIP providers, you can see right here, Grandstream HT802. So the 802 setup and the uh, 801 setup are, is, is virtually identical. The only difference between the HT802 and the 801 is the 802 has two ports, whereas the, the 801 only has a single port. So right here, Telnex tells you exactly how to provision this with their service. So you would get your number at Telnex and have a phone, a device plugged directly into this, and you don't need a phone system on site. VoIP.ms has the exact same instructions. Uh, I don't even know who VoIP Cloud Online is. They have the exact same instructions for, for their service. And 8x8 um, also has the exact same instructions. So yes, you can absolutely use a Grandstream ATA device without a phone system. Now, that being said, if you do have a Grandstream UCM, you can actually zero config this device. So you don't have to get in. So you can zero config it. There are also other SIP phone systems that have provisioning platforms that will auto provision this to the platform. But like I said, to use this, to keep your phone number, you do not need a PBX. You can connect an analog phone using the Grandstream ATA devices directly to your provider that you get dial tone from. So you could literally go ahead and provision this HT801. You could have it come into an old fashioned tape based or digital based answering machine and then out to an analog phone and then it's just like the plain old telephone service that was, was coming to your house. And you can run multiple phones off of this. You just have to be careful that you don't hook too many phones up and drop the voltage too much. Um, I know we talked about it in the original video, but uh, some wise guys, in order to defeat um, tap devices that were powered from their phone lines, would hook up a lot of devices and drain drain the voltage so it can run. But with the HT801, um, I'm also, right now, I'm working on a project where we're reviving a payphone. We're going to do some pretty fun things with that. There may probably won't be a video on that. But yes, with the Grandstream HT801, which is an ATA, an analog telephone adapter, takes an old analog phone, converts it to voice over IP, you do not need a PBX. So... If you got any more questions about this device, let me know down in the comments. Maybe it's time for a refresh video. If you want to see an actual setup video for Telnex 
where we use this. Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you want some help getting your ATA up and going, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form on the front page. We do all types of IT consulting. And also come on over to the community, community.willyhow.com. Sign up, ask your questions, share your knowledge. We're building a fantastic platform over there. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.